Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another video. And this one's going to be a little bit different in many different ways. Um, so I, I got this, uh, I got a bit of a uh, little bit of announcement basically with this. And AJ and I are both very, I've been very into these three games. Well, I call them games uh, for a while here and there in the past. And I thought since I got a lot of requests, especially about one of them, not two of them, uh, we talk about it. So let's mm -hmm. let's start by talking about first. Um, I think it was about a month ago, two months ago, that Upland had announced a partnership with Sweatcoin. So they, they had done that. With Coin. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I, I was going to talk about Coin after that because they did that. Ah. I think about a month later that they also announced a partnership with Coin as well. So, right, right, right. yeah, so, and it was just kind of interesting that, like, um, the stories that we were talking about, uh, and, and the thing is, after the roundtable, we do talk here and there amongst our, amongst each other offline about some of these. Also, during the mini games, after the mini games, we'll do a little bit of, like, beer money raw. It's a, it's a work in progress, that, that one is. And we yeah. talk about, like, certain, certain things, and it's like, these three apps... Upland coin and sweat coin and we'll, we'll go through each one of them individually have had have pretty much followed the same pattern with beer money users in my opinion in the terms of how you can earn with them uh, we'll start first with sweat coin I actually matter of fact I got an article that came out in 2021 from the sweat coin club blog uh, yeah. I can show this one this was actually uh, this was actually sent to me originally to show the partnership and I was like um Okay. And it says, I mean, I post about these three opportunities all the time, send out emails, practically beg you to get involved, quick update in all three, and they're all bigger than I ever guessed. Sweatcoin is now offering $1 per installation in the Sweatcoin Influencer Program. CoinApp is now traded on Coinbase and has increased a thousand percent since I told you about it. And Upland just signed a deal with the NFL Players Association to bring NFL players in the metaverse with collectible NFTs. This was their first dive into NFTs, by the way, and it definitely was not their last. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, thought, I thought I'd talk about like um, our feelings on just each of these three apps just briefly first. Um, so Sweatcoin first. Since I first did Sweatcoin in 2017, 2018, they were first out, and it took like forever just to even get a five dollar gift card from them, it, from the from the walking, and they wouldn't like add on like any. I think they did allow for videos later on, but it was briefly, uh, like earn for videos. But overall, it's just been like it takes forever to make money with Sweatcoin. And I think you mentioned about the sweat coin and sweat wallet. So I'm actually going to let you talk about this one. AJ. Right. So, right. So when sweat coin first started, right, they, they had this app where they said you could go ahead and, you know, walk to make, uh, make crypto basically. But so what they did is they ended up doing like an in-game currency in app currency, right. Called sweat coin. And so you'd walk and you get a sign of various different amounts of sweat coin. It wasn't it wasn't a much. You're, you weren't going to get rich off any of this. But what you could do then is is uh, the the promise was is that eventually you could they were going to make it a crypto asset, and that you could then you know buy and sell and trade the um, uh, the crypto asset. Correct. I remember that part. <laughs> so what they ended up actually doing is they ended up create a whole new type of sweat uh, a coin called sweat entirely separate entirely separate different app and they had it under a another app called sweat wallet now they allow you to do like a quote unquote conversion of sweat uh, of sweat coin to sweat but it's very nominal and you know uh, not really worthwhile so all these people that had been spending all this time and effort, and this was like years, right? Would people would be, you know, using the sweat all up, uh, sweat sweat app, you know? Kind of, I was just thinking, this kind of reminds me of Pi, but that's a whole different thing. Uh, they they promised that they could turn into this uh, crypto, and in the end, you had to go start from scratch now with their new app, the Sweat Wallet, and and start from there. It, and a lot of people got a really myth that they kind of did like this little rug pull on, you know, basically starting over with a blank slate and not really uh, honoring the 
the previous commitments, we'll call that. Uh, and, and so that, that did miff off quite a few people. Um, that's actually kind of interesting. And you, and you mentioned that you've earned some money on oh, Sweatcoin, yeah. though, right? So sure, yeah, that, let's go ahead. Wallet. Um, I've been logging on to yeah. Sweatcoin every day. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Sweat Wallet every day for about about a year and a half or so now. Uh, just just because in the end, it's go on, you, you hit a, uh, you, you know, you, you hit a button, you, you spin a wheel like I can even do it right now. You spin the wheel right here and then, you know, you get you know, watching that and get whatever, really however many. <laughs> oh, so, so what, what's the thing is here is you get three opportunities to spin, right? And it can pick any of them. Uh, it's happened now multiple times with me where I've gotten, you know, every time you have to watch an ad in between where I've gotten like zero, like I, like I end up not getting anything for that day. Uh, so, you know, total I have what is it? Three hundred and sixty-eight sweat coin. Uh, I think I have about two more that. 560. Yeah, five sixty-eight, and I have another two where I can go ahead and um, get at any point. So this is about a year and a half's work. So, uh, well, <laughs> you know that that math doesn't turn out very well. The, the, no, the value was... of the sweat is very low, right? It was three dollars and it was like three dollars and eighty cents. I'll have it on the top left. The official math behind it's that ridiculous. Uh, I, and, you know, I do want to note to people though that this is not an official beer money review of Sweatcoin. Um, no. I will throw it into the polls though for next time if you want me to review it. Um, actually, all three will be thrown into the polls if you want me to review them. Uh, but yeah, sure, but gone. Give them the base to understand what what who these companies are and what sort of deals are being made here and why they are or are not a good idea, right? Right, and yeah, so so that was one big one with Sweatcoin, and at least from what I've been hearing, this is like of the three, I would say this is the smallest. Uh, yeah, they're in, pretty tiny. Yeah, yeah. So, smallest of the three, and also like the the least bad infraction, I would say. For a beer money app, yeah, because let's I mean, move on their, to <laughs> their, their big thing was that that rug pull. Okay, yeah. that that was their big thing, and you have to yeah. restart from scratch. That's that's what miffed off most of the people with it. I mean, okay. I, I mean, considering how much I've earned on Sweatcoin, and I'm sorry, I know, I know, this is going to sound really uh, harsh of me, but like, like you know, if I lost all twenty cents of my sweat wallet, I'm not going to sweat over it. <laughs> Bro, calm, calm down, there, Pharaoh. All right, you know. I know, right? That's, Big spender. I, yeah, no. I I literally just spun a wheel on sweep slots, and I won five bucks yesterday. Right, right. There's a lot of places. <laughs> so, if you're, you're looking to make a buck, like like I, like I said, just go to like steak or something like that. Tell them you want your free dollar, and they give you the free dollar or whatever. There, yeah. there are a lot of places to, to do a lot better than and, what this is. And that sweat influencer program as well, that they're going to offer you over a dollar. So, like, uh, I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, Bridge is offering three. Benjamin's offering one. No, places... Benjamin offers more. Uh, uh, they offer six. Benjamin offers they six. They used to, not it... anymore. Well, they still do it if they complete a series of actions. Anyway. Oh, okay, cool, cool. All right, yeah. But anyway, let's move on now to the uh, other two, because I think the other two had bigger infractions, in my opinion. We'll start. <laughs> we'll go to Coin. Uh, so coin, yeah. the other partner of upland, and we'll get to the main event in a little bit, but coin, mm -hmm. uh, it actually was one of the original beer money, um, applications on this channel. Uh, a lot of people remember old school where we're talking old, this is old coin is old school for us. And it was, <laughs> it, it was nice because you could like go around and make money. And I did make a little bit of money off of it going on mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. coin pro but then we had some issues with a few nerfs uh, yeah, right. late last year. Well, you want to get to uh, this? It, <laughs> they, see, the funny thing with coin is that they've done like rounds of nerfs. If, if that's uh, yeah, it's it's like like every year, year and a half, almost like clockwork. They'll they'll go through another round of nerfs, right? Um, and and I. Let's let's say to begin with, I was a huge fan of Coin, like huge fan. Like I found Coin right at the beginning of pandemic time, and I'm like, wait, they want to give me, you know, these crypto assets just for like having this phone running all the time? Done. Like that that seemed like an easy win to me, and um, you know, it it was a good pay for a while. Um, it it was a good payday even under the basic account. 
uh, it was good payday. But I quickly went to the pro account once I did the math. I'm like, well, the pro account w- was a lot better deal. And even at that time, remember, I was even I was in grandfathered into these plans where I was only paying it was like 150 bucks a year for the pro plan, right? right? 150 bucks a year for the pro plan. So my my level of hitting profitability was much lower than anybody else. I think the pro plan eventually went to like 40 bucks a month or it something like 40. that. Yeah, I, I was paying yeah. 40 bucks a month. I definitely and- was. I got I got this great deal, and I was I wasn't letting that sucker go. Uh, <laughs> I I was in there since um, I think it was I was in there like the second year that coin was out, so still early on, and they were still trying to figure things out. But they eventually nerfed that. So uh, when we're talking about some of the nerfs that they've done, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, so yeah, the, the nerfs that they had. I remember with Coin Pro. They, uh, they took some of the nerfs and basically turned them into NFTs. As soon as they went down the NFT, and, and this is a, this is going to be something that you hear yeah. me talk about. Um, I was actually going to originally do a video on this, but, um, you know what? Might as well talk about it here. Matter of fact, I'm going to call it the crypto penalty for this video because, <laughs> because, the, because this is an example of I want to show you guys like why, in my opinion, Web3 games get a drop. Uh, in my ratings when I did the beer money reviews and this, this is not really a crypto issue though this is more of them trying to sell an additional asset to make sure you get the payment or get back nerfs that they took away from you it doesn't have anything to do with their coin in particular yes you can buy and sell their nfts but I don't know anybody that really does that except to some other coin users that weren't able to pick up like a you know an uncommon or rare or epic or right. legendary right uh, so it's it's not really the same sort of penalty for me but it, it is another way for them to milk money from the uh, from the customer to give back what they took away now I will say that I am using coin again on the beer money portfolio but the, my disclaimer on that is um, I'm using it to get more Ethereum. And so every 10,000 coin I'm cashing out. I am not using Coin Pro. I am not paying a single dime for anything. The only thing I paid for was the supposed $14.99 for the shipping and handling for the NFC card, which I already had in the beginning. I'm just throwing it into the simulation. As you all know, I simulate these things for your benefit. Um, yeah. It, but, but, uh, yeah, agreed. Uh, yeah, so, so th- that's why I'm doing it. But I will say with Coin... If you ask me what I felt like with Coin as a project, it was such a great project to begin with. But in my opinion, they just seem to have this issue where people are just not earning enough. And and it's not just like the nerfs that Coin is doing. We're gonna get to the last it one helped. a little bit, <laughs> but it definitely, yeah, it definitely did not help anything either because it be, because uh, and also if the if the if the coin drops as well in this case, if the crypto drops. Uh, they also kind of go into panic mode and start throwing NFTs around because they think, oh, we can make money out of thin air. And that's something where it's like your money is basically only based on the people that you bring in. It's not so much based on any, in my opinion, any sort of like real business purpose for 90% of projects. And well, let's talk about, they have multiple different types of NFTs now. Yeah. All, again, to replace things that they took away. The the pickaxe, the the boots, and the helmet. Right. And gosh, you know they're not going to be done, right? You're going to probably see some sort of, like, vest or something like that. Some yeah. sort of, like, work pants. Uh, you know, maybe safety glasses. They're not done, right? I, again, these last ones are all speculation on my part. But when, when the first ones came out with the pickaxe, we're like, oh, okay. But then the moment that they started coming out with like the the uh, I think uh, what was next the boots you're like oh this is purely a money grab at this point there's no other reason helmets you forgot helmets yeah the helmets now yeah well helmets is, <laughs> helmets was the third one right I yeah. was saying by the second one the first one we're like all right it's interesting they're making us pay for this but okay I can maybe find a reason where it becomes cost beneficial for me now to do this uh, or still do this, all that stuff. Like I did all the math multiple right, times. And, right. and one of these times we can do a really deep dive on what coin was and is now currently. I will um, definitely do that. Actually, if we do a beer money <laughs> review, we might actually do a real deep dive for that one. 
Yeah, because like I said, man, Coin was a great app. I loved it. I loved it. I was a huge fan. Like I got, I got so many people involved in it because I it, it was a good, it was a good beer money app. Uh, not a, not anymore. Uh, get get out. <laughs> I mean, or or just run the free stuff. And again, that's a whole other thing. Yeah, and as we mentioned before, they both have made this partnership with our main event, which is Upland. And so, um, <laughs> Upland on this one, I'm gonna have to censor that one. Uh, Upland. <laughs> what, what this one? They're they're just becoming friends. <laughs> uh, all right, so Upland. Um, a lot of people. Oh, do you remember early on in the beer money in the beer money network slash beer money engine channel, AJ? I couldn't mm-hmm. go a day without someone asking me to do a video on Upland. Yeah, everybody. Well, there was a lot of mystique around Upland, right? And one because Upland was hard to figure out for the casual I, yeah, player. Yeah, that too. And I, I, I guarantee you, these guys. Like, if we had a beer money mania in twenty twenty three, yeah, twenty twenty three or twenty twenty two, I guarantee Upland you, would, Upland, uh, yeah. Upland would have been like championship game at least. They, they would have won probably. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the, the and, way people had been. It was crazy. Because people didn't understand it, right? Right. And and I think the more and more people understand it, I think we get to where we're at now. And even in the beginning, I'm going to say I got fleeced in the beginning of Upland, right? I didn't understand what was going on, and I trusted the wrong person to help me out, and they basically took – yeah, they, they fleeced me. Let, let, let's be honest. Yeah, um, that was that was one of the incentives for me to kind of start this sort of thing is so I could get trusted information out there. Yeah, I actually I actually kind of yeah, actually Upland was the inspiration behind AJ's Beer Money Network. And it was honestly part of the inspiration behind me leaving the Beer Money Engine YouTube channel for a little while because I had so much attention put into the into this game. Um, partially that and partially because I was very sick at the time. Um, I was mm-hmm. going through a really long term illness, but. Um, I did go the opposite direction. I did make a lot of money on Upland. Um, a lot of, uh, but the thing is, is that I never told anyone, I never told a soul to go into this game because I knew exactly what it was. And I knew mm-hmm. very much so that one, if everyone did what I did, the game would pretty much perish. And two, well, it wouldn't have been profitable for you it, either. It wouldn't have been profitable for anyone. Yeah. And two, they were already starting to create nerfs in the system. And if you uh, go watch the Beer Money Mania uh, second round review, I think we did. Or was it the first round? It was one of those. It was the first round. It had to be the first round. Because I because we were talking about how we didn't quite understand how Upland was uh, making it through the second, making it through a round or whatnot, if you remember. Because we mm-hmm. were talking about that, like... How did Upland? I was confused. Beat, yeah, uh, how did Upland beat Top Cash back? Like, I'm that still was, confused <laughs> because it's because I don't. I still don't think people understand. The, there was there was probably it was probably that um, the way that the way that it works. And I thought about like doing a full like video, just kind of demystifying Upland. And I actually do have some deleted videos of me talking about the treasure hunting, so that people could go and make a little bit of money for free. But it's just not worth it, and they and they just kept nerfing it. And even from then, they kept nerfing it. So there was really no point in making it. Right, they nerfed it to the point for for a free player like me, I wasn't on Pharaoh's level at all. That I, the moment they got rid of like the super close like indicators, right? I'm like I'm out because uh, I didn't have a a a network large enough to do the treasure hunting. Right. Yeah, uh, treasure hunting it's... was okay. So there were two ways basically that you could make consistent money on Upland, and the first one was treasure hunting. The second one mm-hmm. was sniping, which was which I know a lot of people said was unethical, but it was technically, um, it was technically within their terms of service to do so to correct to write a script to find the properties and just buy them before everyone else. And on top mm-hmm. of that, I mean, as AJ had mentioned, there were people in the community ready to just like fleece you, you know, fleece off their uh, crappy Brooklyn and Cleveland properties for for you for, you know, for super high amounts. I had to help AJ actually just get back to a normal kind of optimal kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> I, the more I talk to Fer, I'm like, dude, this guy screwed me over. 
Bird. I uh, he definitely he one hundred percent did. And the thing was, I kind of knew he did from like day two. I played Upland. Um, as you guys know, I'm a numbers guy, and Upland is very much a game of numbers, and it's very much a game of numbers and statistics. And if you know, and they rely on newer players. The community relies on newer players not knowing about the game. They're a little bit more helpful now than back then. Horrible. Yeah, they're a little. They are a little bit more helpful now than back then. At least some of the players, but a lot. But everyone there has an ulterior motive to try to make money and 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 to a lot of people think like. Go ahead. Right. With with, I was going to say with with Upland, it's a zero sum game, right? Yes. Right. (laughs) The only way for me to make money is for you to lose it. Yes, right. And you it, just spend it. And, and this, and okay, so this is where I can finally talk about after two years. Why did I talk <laughs> about Atlas Earth primarily and not Upland primarily? And now, and now, let me get to this. All right. So, all right, go with, for it. All right, so with Upland, and I, AJ has heard me talk about this like a dozen times at this point. So with Upland, the issue is, is that Upland relies on a crypto. We don't know how much uh, we don't know how much the sponsorship is paying them, or if they're paying the or that they're paying the license or whatnot for some of the companies that they're in. They pretty much almost entirely rely on the crypto, the upics, and their economy that they've created around the thing. So they're basically relying on the community to bring in more money, so that way it, to basically take was it uh, okay? I, I I know I explained this correctly before. But like it relies on the community's okay, the community's money basically. However much money they want to bring in to get these amounts of NFTs or properties or buildings or whatnot. And these days there have been a lot of NFTs. It is not just the NFL PA now. There's cars, it's planes, it's the market's um, flooded. Let's be honest. <laughs> they flooded the market. Holiday ornaments, ornaments on buildings, ornaments on this, ornaments on your car. Um you know, winter and winter NFTs, um, NFTs for each season, NFT, what, NFT, what special end, NFT right? boxes, uh, <laughs> trading cards, uh, NFTs on layer two games. At least I think they're NFTs anyway. But but you get what I mean. It's like it's like with Upland. There's uh, there's just ways. The reason why people didn't quite get it is because it's very math heavy, and they usually and they try to take advantage of that. Atlas Earth, on the other hand, now with Atlas Earth, there is a similar ecosystem going on in Atlas Earth, but the difference is that they heavily rely on trying to bring in sponsors to cover the bill for them. Uh-huh. So, uh, so in this case, and why this? Why is this better? Why, from why, from why day do you think one. It's from day one. Yeah, from day yeah, one. Yeah, they did this from day one. Yeah, right. And that's yeah. one thing I've liked about this. Yeah. So. Is- so so why is it and I, so why is it I'm going to ask AJ this he he knows the answer <laughs> but why do you think it is better to rely on a sponsor than on your users for money Do you know why The sponsors are it, advertising man there's money there Exactly so here's the reason why for everyone that, do, that It doesn't cost the user anything Right so so for the user they're there both upland and atlas earth to simply make money they're putting mm-hmm. money in to get money out. I know we don't call it an investment, but there are a lot of people that see it as sort of like that. All right. So think about that. First we, we don't. We, we don't. Do not. tell it's an investment. Yes. All right. Yes, we do okay. not. We do not. No, absolutely not. This is a game. Well, it's a game. The game. It's and a game that I, has financial rewards. And and I and I make rewards apps out of it. So yeah. whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. But but the big difference is is that. If you're relying on the user to bring in more money, eventually they want to see a profit. The sponsor is not expecting to see a profit on Atlas Earth. They're expecting to see a profit from other customers that see their product. That is the big difference. And that's the reason why Atlas Earth was a more stable, uh, a more stable uh, app to look at than Upland, in my opinion. And so, yeah, there you go. Case closed. <laughs> right, right. How many more times did I eat at Burger King than like some other fast food restaurant because I knew I was getting some incentive from it? Why I was support? Why well, would you I eat was at Burger King? It. Because <laughs> they were one of the ones that were sponsors of Atlas Earth, I know, and you I actually know. got. Well, I'm explaining to those that don't yeah, know. So yeah. you got you got rewarded for it. You know, there was even a time there was uh, the Speedway Guest. Let's use right, that one. Right, they were Speedway. they were a sponsor, right? 
Um, and you could go and fill up Speedway versus like the Exxon or whatever across the street. You know, gas was the same price. I was going to Speedway because, you know, they were sponsor. I was getting some of the cash back and every, everybody was happy. It, happy. it was, it was a good experience. It wasn't costing me anything I wasn't going to spend anyway because I needed gas. I need gas. And so that's where I went for gas. Now, I will say that despite all my issues with Upland and the t- couple dozen nerfs that they have had over the last <laughs> two or so years, I will I will let you all know that when it comes to Web3 projects, they are closer to one of the best Web3 projects than one of the worst. Yes, and so that has to be understood, too, is everything that and we're saying. saying something. And, we, and we think that this is one of the better ones, right? Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> The, uh, so, no, so, uh, uh, I would say Upland as far as like earning, actual earning, I would say top 10. I'm not even joking. Yeah. And it, that's yeah, how and, sad. And it's minimal. Yeah. And it, it's so minimal. And this is the reason why I try to explain to people like, okay, if it involves crypto in it, I'm always immediately cautious is because if something like this, I can tell you right now as a top 10 earner in Web3 projects, what do you think I would feel like if it was something like Alluvium? Or something like a farmer's world or another place that is off that that or decentral land or sandbox that you have to pay a lot more for in order to make some kind of profit to make some kind of profit yeah, out of. Those other ones are too high uh, of a cost to entry that I, I just haven't bothered yeah. to go in. So, so so that's been the reason why but uh, so that's been the reason why I wanted to explain to you all with this video, and I think AJ, thank you so much for helping me out here, of why crypto is not why crypto apps Use them with caution. Right. I, I'm not anti crypto apps. Me I run I run like fifteen of them. Right. Uh you know, so I'm not anti crypto apps. It's just understand what understand what you're getting into, right? I mean we can even talk about in the beginning how there was a big push to get Atlas Earth to be even crypto. Yeah. And, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. and that, that brought me to have conversations with the, the CEO Go of to Atlas the Manning Earth. interview. Go to the Manning interview for that one. Well, guys. The, oh yeah, oh you, you've got all that. We, we did, yes. He explained some of I it. I was talking to Bo, like I was talking to the CEO about that stuff. And and that's how you know and, and we went back and forth on why it was a was not a good idea. Um so but in the end they ultimately decided to stay away from it and you know, I think for the casual gamer it it's better. They made the right call, even at the yes. time, even though I may have wished at the time there was some of that. Because at the height of the, when, when Atlas I never Earth did, first by came the way. out, I never well, did. When Atlas first came out, Atlas Earth Earth first came out, right? There was a lot of there was a lot of cryptos making a lot of money. It, it was the height right. of a crypto summer, right? And it wasn't. It was about eight months later that we saw crypto winter, and we're like, oh, well, I'm glad they didn't go that way. Yeah, well, I kind of knew that was coming. Like, this was like the third crypto summer that I had taken part of. So I kind of knew about uh, the ups and downs for yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fine. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, again, just understand they, they chose that path to keep it simple. And I agree. I, I agree that that was the right call. Yeah. And, and so, and so this is the reason why I'm saying with crypto apps, everyone use caution before. Uh, before doing before going into any of these apps mm-hmm. and, and sure and sure that you know what you're doing and if not hey you know we got the beer money network we got beer money engine yeah we'll go through come them. ask us yeah, yeah yeah there's nothing that you guys out there aren't going to experience now dealing with a crypto that that one of us hasn't experienced yet uh we we've been we've been <laughs> we've been through it all unfortunately now or yeah. unfortunately because you can learn from us yeah exactly and we've we freely give that information, and yeah. we don't expect anything back. Final question. So this three-way partnership here, uh, what do you think of them? Do I think don't understand them. Okay. Is it, can I say that? I don't understand. What does Sweatcoin and Upland have to do with each other? Okay, so I think that Upland was actually trying to create almost like... They had been talking about wanting to make like some kind of like simulation of a real world from the very beginning and so they're trying to probably and also create like a super app for maybe like many different projects as well so maybe that's why they're bringing in these partnerships like coin like sweat coin that's a lot of speculation i they don't i do know that they were talking about the super app from 2022 i believe they wanted where is any evidence of that just if they're just now signing any sort of partnership with that yeah and something they they announced back in 2022 that seems like 
I think it was like unrelated. The, the, <laughs> Honestly, the, the blueprints were in 2022, but like they're probably starting to do that now, especially when they added their own crypto Sparklet, which um, Sparklet has been doing less than Stellar. Uh, a lot of us were expecting around 15 to 20 cents. It's about five right now. Um, yeah. I th- oh, is it gone up to five? I thought it was down below that. Uh, it was, no, it's been, it's been steady at around the five, six mark for a little while now, but yeah. you know, when in doubt, zoom out and there you go. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, that's why, like I go in, I go in every day. I collect my, you know, I, I go in to log in, right. I collect my Upix, uh, and then every seventh day I get my free sparklet. That's my full interaction now with Upland because it's not worth anything else to me. And I thought about adding it to the beer money portfolio, but um, I would have to make a brand new account. There'd be a lot of issues regarding that, or I'd have to ask them if I could reset my old account, stuff like that. But I, I you know, it, it's something where maybe if I decide to sell off my sparklet and call it a day, I could make a new account and start over. But overall, I, I just, I, I wouldn't recommend a plan to people yeah, because of the amount of money that you could make a day on it. It's like, you're better off just going on bridge. You're better off just... Uh, grinding on Atlas Earth because with Atlas Earth, you'll get there in four or five months. It'll take you almost a year in Upland. By then, it could be a completely different game. In, in Upland, it's, you know, I'll say it's, is it worth my 30 seconds I interact with it a day? Maybe. That's it. That's my full interaction with Upland a day. A treasure hunt. I'm, I'm not going to lie. The treasure hunt is kind of fun for entertainment purposes. I, I they always seem very tedious to me. I And, and unless you have a, a network of properties that you own over one of the cities that they're doing it in it's Mm -hmm. not really it's not worth it to me yeah well in my opinion so my final opinion on this i feel like with three apps that have gone down very similar roads in very different genres i feel like something like this was kind of something that upland has been wanting to do for a while and they finally found a couple people with their same mindset basically where they're heavily more focused on profit rather than trying to provide the community with something good. Um, I, it, it, that's just my opinion. And, and like, you could say this is because it's a Web3, it, it's because this is the nature of Web3 projects, but it doesn't have to be, in my opinion. I think there's a lot of good technology with Web3, and I think Hive Mapper was actually a good example, even though they've also kind of fallen off a little bit. Um, yeah, the, the, we'll see how Hive Mapper turns out once they ab- uh, actually start shipping these new cameras. We'll see what actually happens there. Yeah, um, um, but but there are but, there are good examples. Like I think that the blockchain has a future. It's just I feel I, like I've made, signif- I've made significant amount of money from it. Yeah, let's, let's be clear. Yeah, same. So I but the issue is is that the regular person who hasn't done their research and hasn't understood the entire point of it and doesn't and hasn't seen it demystified are yeah, it's, it's a cloud. Out. Yeah. Right, they're going to they're going to lose. They're going to be just like us in the beginning. They're yeah. going to lose. Right? So come to us, we'll help you get it so you you're not going to have a less of a chance to lose because everybody in the beginning thinks they know better. Right. Uh, so they all end up making the same mistakes even though we tell them not to do it. But fine, that's a live and learn experience. But hopefully we can uh <laughs> we can soften that blow a little bit so it's not as bad as it is for other people. No. So what I I was going to say was interesting is to me both Sweat and Upland and Coin they are all apps that are on what I would appear to be a decline. And it's interesting now to me that these apps are the ones that are trying to reach out and form partnerships. That oh. they've waited until, uh, I think they've waited too long, honestly. We'll see if anything comes of it. But I, I think all these apps are on their decline. And, and it... It's one of the reasons why I was worried when Coin announced their partnership with Natix, another app that I, I like and support a lot. Um, that worried me because I know I know these other partnerships going on, and I'm trying to question why. I still don't understand. I still don't understand the Coin and Upland partnership. I don't understand that because they're t- two separate competing cryptos. I, I don't understand what's going on there. Or why they they see a need for a partnership. 
and I don't understand why XYO and or Coin and Natix would have a a partnership because those are two two unrelated things. They're on different networks. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Well, uh, maybe we'll get more information as the time goes on over what they plan to do. Um, I'm going to leave. This I'm certainly going to learn to it. I'm certainly going to dig into this as as it, things develop and see why this is something that interests me in particular. Yeah, I'm going to leave this to you all on uh, on the YouTube channel over here, the Beer Money Engine YouTube channel. Do you want me to report a little bit more on Upland Coin? possibly sweat coin let me know in the comment section below if i get enough i could possibly see what the integrations are and we can take a look um yeah other than that everyone this is pretty much the video uh if you like this video give it a like uh i put down my question and don't forget to subscribe to both beer money engine and beer money network beer money network in the description below and don't forget to come to our discord if you want to oh, get yeah, your discord. questions answered as well uh i am pharaoh silver I'm AJ Dunthown. And I will see, and we'll both see you all next time. Bye, everyone.